Hello and welcome! In this video I'm going to be playing The Legend of Zelda for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Uh, this was possibly the game that got me to really, really like video games. Like, the first one I remember really liking is Demon Attack for the Atari 2600. This is the first game for the Nintendo Entertainment System that I really remember liking and just putting a shit ton of hours in. Like, I played this a shit ton as a kid. And little known fact about me, I have never beaten this game. Now, I know you might think that's weird as shit, but I got this weird thing about me where I don't look at strategy guides. I've never looked at a strategy guide to complete a game. And this is a very cryptic game. So, everything that I learned on this game, I learned on my own. There's a ton of stuff I don't know about this game. Like, I've never been able to find the sword. I just run around, and you know, I, I don't know where the sword could be. <laughs> oh, there it is. But no, I... I've gotten pretty close to beating this game. But, uh, I never quite did it. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I couldn't... This was so long ago, I'm trying to remember, but I, I couldn't find one of the uh, dungeons or some shit. I got pretty damn far on my own. And that is searching and searching and searching. Just endless fucking searching. One of these days, I should look at the strategy guide and, you know, actually complete the game. I don't know if I ever will, though. I've never completed, uh, Ocarina of Time for the same reason. I, again, I've gotten very close, but I never quite beat it. For that game... I don't remember. I think I, like... I don't know. Again, it's been so long I can't remember, but... I, I'd i get pretty... You know, I, another thing about Zelda games is... Uh, I tend to lose interest. Like, I love... I love all the Zelda games, but I tend to lose interest. And then I don't play it, and then I come back to it... Six months later, and I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. And that's what happened with... Uh, Majora's Mask. That's what happened with Ocarina of Time. Like, if I don't beat the game when I'm initially playing it, chances are I won't, because when I come back to it, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I never beat Wind Waker by choice, because I didn't really care for Wind Waker. That That is the one... Zelda game that I never really cared for. I can't force myself to like something. You know, and I've tried repeatedly with Wind Waker. I just, I don't like it. Now, I remember as a kid, I would, I would pause... What would I do here? Yeah, I'd pause the screen to see the other swords. And, the, obviously, there's the Master Sword. The other sword was the, uh... What is it, the Silver Sword? No, the White Sword. So many memories playing this game as a kid. It was epic. Well, it is epic to this day. And I'm still hoping for a Zelda maker. You know, like, you make a dungeon maker, you make what the fuck ever, you need to make something. I don't care if you make it so you, you know, you make the whole fucking game. It needs to happen. 
People want it. It needs to be done. So, you know, Nintendo needs to do it however the fuck they can. Zelda Maker needs to happen. And a lot of people say, you know, like, Oh, it's impossible. I can't, you can't do that because blah, blah, blah. Shut the fuck up. Bull fucking shit. Even if it's just a dungeon maker, I don't give a fuck. I want to make Zelda levels. I want to put items in spots, and I want to fucking verse ten bosses in a room. That would be fantastic. Uh, Mario Maker was fantastic. I've had so much fun with that and its sequel. Endless hours of fun. But I've always liked Zelda more so than Mario, and I think that would just be amazing. I Hell, I'd like to see Mario 64 Maker. My favorite uh, Mario game of them all. Yeah, it ain't gonna be everyone's cup of tea, but goddamn would that be fun. Don't you tell me secrets, shithead. Fucking kick your ass. Son of a bitch can't keep his mouth closed. Now, as a kid, I totally thought that map was a piece of pie. Like, that looks like pie to me. It looks like pie to this day. And I like me some pie. That shit's delicious. I don't care what the fuck kind of pie it is either. Shit. Banana cream pie, cherry pie, apple pie. It don't fucking matter. Pie is pie. Good lord, has it been a long time. I'm in trouble. Fuck. I done sucked it up. I sucked it up and then I died. So hard not to just go grab that heart. Even though I don't need it. That shit's like built in. I have farts. This is another game. Playing on emulation is not the same. Like, playing this on the NES, you get much, much better controls. The controls just aren't correct when playing on an emulator. Uh, visually, it looks a hell of a lot better on an emulator, but control-wise, it's a little off. Not as bad as, say, Punch-Out! or Super Mario Brothers, but it still ain't good. this way.
It has been so long since I've played this. Link always looks fucked up when he grabs something in this game. He looks like, uh, Rocky. I always picture him screaming Adrian. Adrian. What the fuck was Rocky's wife's name? Andrea? A Adria? Whatever the fuck her name was. That's what her name is. That's all I heard in the movies. I'm gonna fucking die again. I don't have any damn health. I need health over here. Fuck you, you shithead asshole. I love when Link turns gray when he dies. Like, that's awesome. These controls, man. And this shit only seems to happen with, like, a handful of NES games. Otherwise, I can play ROMs all every day of the fucking week. Like, I got no issues. The Nintendo D-Pad was extremely good. And they could really make some accurate controls with that. I remember that noise would scare me as a kid. Generally, I remember being scared in the dungeons. Like that music going and all the monsters and shit. That's how fucking young I was when I was playing this. I loved how you went into a fucking tree and it's a dungeon. Like, if I had money, that's what I would do. I would have a tree, a gigantic tree that's dead, hollowed out, and I'd put eyes in it. And I'd, you know, you'd, you'd go down a set of stairs and you'd enter a dungeon. And, I, and that's where I would live. Now, you want to get laid? Uh, go to the bar and have that be your pickup line. Hey, you want to go see my dungeon? My, my Zelda-themed dungeon from the first game? You get laid all over the place. Really, whenever I play this game, I usually just wander around. Just remember how much I played it. Look at the graphics. Like, everything's so beautiful. Now, from what I was told, or what I was told, from what I read, in this Zelda game, uh, everybody lives underground because Ganon essentially destroyed the world. Like, this this was the scenario where Ganon won. And that's why the entire world is taken over by monsters, there are no towns, everything's just in extreme peril. You know, the apo like the nuclear apocalypse. Everybody, you know, the only survivors are underground, and 
There's just mutants running around everywhere. Shit, that was a bomb. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna stop playing in about two seconds anyway. Yeah, I just wanted to, uh, I don't know. I wanted to make a video about Zelda. This, this wasn't a video of me, you know, trying to beat the game or even really play through it. Just talk about it a bit. Talk about the memories that I had, or have, of this game. It's an extremely good game to this day. And, you know, I, I keep wanting to play a Zelda maker. I just think that would be awesome. Absolutely awesome. But that'll do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and have yourselves a great day.